A ship, while floating in the sea, is continuously subjected to external forces such as buoyancy, waves, and cargo weight distribution. These forces cause bending moments in the ship structure, leading to two major conditions, hogging and sagging. Understanding these conditions is crucial for ship stability, strength, and safety. In today's video, we'll explore the difference between hogging and sagging, and how they can be identified through draft readings. Hogging occurs when the ship's middle portion which is amidships, is lifted higher than its bow and stern. This happens when excessive weight is loaded at the fore and aft parts of the ship, causing the amidships section to rise. The uneven cargo distribution, with a large amount of weight concentrated toward the ends, increases buoyancy at amidships, leading to hogging. Sagging is the opposite of hogging, occurs when the ship's bow and stern rise, while the middle or amidships portion sinks lower. This happens when excessive weight is concentrated in the midsection of the ship, causing it to sink lower. Poor cargo distribution, such as heavy cargo stowed amidships, while the bow and stern remain light, reduces buoyancy at midship, leading to sagging. There are several reasons why it is important to know whether the ship is hogging or sagging. 1. To maintain the structural integrity and overall ship safety. Excessive hogging or sagging can cause undue stress on the ship structure, leading to cracks, or even structural failure over time. Repeated bending moments can weaken the ship's hull, affecting its long-term durability. Ships are designed to handle specific bending stresses, and excessive deviation can compromise safety. Next, to maintain cargo safety and efficient ship operation. Uneven stress due to sagging or hogging can lead to cargo shifting, causing potential damage or instability. Incorrect stress distribution may affect the ship's trim, making navigation and maneuvering difficult. Identifying hogging or sagging helps ensure proper cargo and ballast distribution. Next is compliance with regulations. Ships must comply with classification society rules regarding structural stress limits. In reality, it is difficult to determine whether a ship is hogging or sagging just by visual observation. Software such as Lodicator can be used to assess these stresses. However, another reliable method is by analyzing the ship's observed draft. Always remember that if the ship's midship's draft is less than the mean draft, the vessel is hogging. If the ship's midship's draft is greater than the mean draft, the vessel is sagging. Let's have a scenario, assuming that this is the ship's forward draft, midship's draft, and aft draft. To determine whether the ship is hogging or sagging, let's calculate first the ship's mean draft. Just add the forward and aft drafts, the sum will be divided by 2. In this case, the mean draft is 4.695 meters. If we compare it to midship's draft which is 4.58 meters, the midship's draft is less than the mean draft, so the ship is hogging. Let's have another scenario. We have the ship's forward draft, midships, and aft. The ship's mean draft is 9.255 meters. In this case, the midship's draft is greater than the mean draft, so the vessel is sagging. If the vessel is hogging or sagging, correction must be applied to determine the ship's mean draft, known as mean of mean or quarter mean draft. I made a separate video how to determine the quarter mean draft if the vessel is hog or sag. If you want to see the full details, kindly check the link in the description. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.